when I was at the first day, I went to show the people how good I am, the spectators and my colleagues, and I was so convinced that I was better prepared and I have more practice and I work harder than anybody on the field. That's give me that desire and determination to beat guys that they, they never thought I could beat them, I'm sure. Meet Manuel Pinero, who at 61 is still surrounded by the game he loves. Whether instructing or playing on the European Seniors Tour, he's always happy to revisit a career that included 12 professional wins and glory for both Spain and Europe. Playing at the Ryder Cup was a great experience for me, and uh, obviously winning the first time was uh, something uh, very special. And especially playing with uh, Seve Ballesteros, uh, sadly he's not with us anymore. But he was a, a great inspiration for all of us, and he's, I think he was the player who created um, who create the new Ryder Cup that we see now. We met up with Manuel in Soto Grande in Spain, where he was acting as a golf ambassador for the World Corporate Golf Challenge, a worldwide event that celebrates the unique union between golf and business. I think it's the only sport that you can play with amateurs, different handicaps, different levels, and also you can chat around for four or five hours on the golf course, and you cannot create that atmosphere on any other sports. You cannot do that in tennis or football, and that's why golf is so special for business. It's difficult to try to get to know an individual in a boardroom. On a golf course, it's basically you are there seeing your, how you are in person and what you really are about based on how you play and how you act in a game of golf. So I think golf is a great indicator of what your personality will be, how you'll handle yourself in a deal, and I think it's just a great place to get to know people globally. I can tell you from experience, I made some fantastic connections in last year when I was in, with the same tournament as Scotland. I had some friend, made some friends from Turkey who are already collaborating with me. Now that I've experienced two years, I'm even decided to take the license so that I've got to make sure that even if I don't win it, I'm here every year. While business is conducted out on the course, the final is the perfect opportunity for the license holders from around the world to discuss strategy and the events going forward. We're delighted that uh, we have a number of new licensing partners that uh, have joined the World Corporate family. Um, so for them, this is the first you know, touch point really for the, in terms of the brand. Um, so we use the opportunity to bring all the licensees together and so they can meet each other and share new ideas and see what works in some countries and, and not in others because you know, every country has a different, you know, culture around golf. An international event is only as strong as its sponsors and the WCGC has a strong team helping them achieve their goals. We were contacted by uh, the World Corporate Golf Challenge uh, five to six years ago now and it just seemed a fantastic concept uh, for us for Time and Fortune magazine and it was a great way for us to match our brand with another global brand and, and bring business people together. Um, I like golf personally which was a great help of course. It's a very important international competition and we believe that it's a fantastic way to, to spread the, the info about the Count of Florence, about our products, about our golf uh, values that we, we have. We are a sponsor of uh, a lot of professional golfers like um, Alexander Levy, who won uh, Volvo China Open this year, like Maximilian Kiefer uh, last year and uh, we are a very important uh, Spanish golfer, which is uh, Jorge Campillo. As the event looks to expand to over 50 national license holders, the group is also helping grow the game across the globe. What's amazing is you've got sort of really sophisticated golf cultures, USA, England, Sweden, you know, where it's been in the sort of the, the blood for years. Uh, with some with guys from Nigeria, you know, who are who have the same level of enthusiasm, and, and I mean their ability to learn uh, from the more experienced cultures is so important. Manuel Pinero has faced challenges all of his life, starting his career as a team caddy in Madrid to raise a few pennies, and he has helped raise both the profile and level of golf in Spain and Europe. I think the Spanish golf is still very competitive. We, we still have fantastic players like Sergio and Jimenez and uh, Larrazabal and uh, a couple of young 
all the young guys. Meeting Manuel was an added highlight for the World Corporate Golf Challenge competitors, and now in his early 60s, he still has the touch that brought him so much glory.